Hey there, a brand new version of Affinity was just released. We already cover brand new features and missing features, but I feel like during this launch we got tons of misinformation and fake news about the new version of the software. So today we're going to address that so we really know what is this new version of Affinity all about. I think the biggest problem is that people start spreading those fake news days weeks before it was actually released just to farm views or <laughs> stuff like that on youtube i guess and the biggest lie was it would be subscription only from now on so uh, the canva did some kind of build-up period when they took down the old version version 2 and they tell us to wait for the big announcement and then people just like going rampant on youtube and posting stuff about how the new version will be subscription only for sure. And that's of course a fake news. Actually, it went opposite way. So the app is completely free. We don't need to pay for the app. That was usually a paid app before. Now we just need to pay for additional features that kind of link to Canva Pro, Canva AI. So that was that's the biggest fake news that is still moving around and you can still see that people call it freemium. People think that and uh, this is some kind of strip version of Affinity that they took away tools and locked this behind some kind of paywall subscription thing. So the subscription is optional. It's for the Canva AI tools that are now integrated with the software. So all of the tools, almost all of the tools from the previous versions are here for free. I said almost because they changed the structure of the software. So in the past, we got three separate programs. Now we got one program with the vector mode pixel mode and layout mode so there are some changes in how tools works and are shared among those workspaces so it's not subscription model all right it's a free app when we can purchase additional features so we can call it freemium if you like but it's not subscription model all right a new version of Affinity, Affinity 3.0 is always online you need to be always online to use it I think people get confused with the, the login requirements. So you need to log in to Canva account after you install the app for the first time to run it. All right, so that's required. You need to make a, a handshake with the Canva account. And after that, you can use it offline. So I'm going to switch off my Wi-Fi. And we are still in, in the app. I can still use it. It's a locally run app. All right, so what we should be worried about is how often they will kind of try to connect to Canva to check that we are still logged in. If they plan to do something like that in the future that like, let's say you, you are like offline for three months straight and then one day you got some kind of pop up, please log in back to Canva. So we don't know, it's it was just released like what, 72 hours ago. And so far it's required online just for the first launch and then you can use the app offline just fine. So always online is a fake news. This is the big one, there is a catch, all right? So seems like all of those people that have been spreading misinformation for weeks about subscription coming, now they feel really disappointed that that was not the case. And now the new narration is it's a catch. They want you to get used to free up and then they will launch subscription after three months from now. So are you serious? Like, <laughs> what's the point? App is free and people feel like it's too good to be free. So how they can earn money? They can earn money from Canva AI. You need Canva Pro for that. And user base for original Affinity apps is really tiny comparing to Canva user base. Like they are not losing money. They are not running charity. If like if they can triple, quadruple user base of Affinity by giving the app for free, and then 5% of Affinity users subscribe to Canva AI, they got profit, maybe higher profit than selling the app for like $49. So it's just a business model change. It's not a trap or catch. Of course, new tools introduced in the future, they may be part of this Canva AI when you need to pay for them, right? If they add some kind of fancy 
auto trace that can turn photos into vector illustrations, that would be probably a paid feature included in this Canva AI section with other paid features. So we got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paid features, and we got three full workspaces full of like free tools. All right, so I don't think that there is some kind of mischief going on here, of course. It all depends how you feel about AI integrations in your graphic software. So this can be a bit deeper thing, personal thing. But it seems like it just shifts to different business model, something the Canva have been doing since forever. Giving the software for free, then charging for uh, additional services like templates, textures, vector elements, AI tools and stuff like that. So be careful, be a bit skeptical about the catch theory thing that they're going to launch a subscription in three months. It's not likely. Automatic update to version 3.0. So that's another one. I saw it on Facebook group. Like after you launch your Affinity Designer version 2, it will automatically update to version 3 and force you to have a Canva account and all of that stuff. That's fake. Like uh, version 3.0 is a new, brand new app. It's Unify app and you can still run your version 1 and version 2 that you paid for. Nobody's taking that away from you. Here's my version 2.6 of Affinity Designer. Works just fine. All right, what's next? Oh, this one is big. Core features are now behind the paywall. App is free, right? Means they kind of took away the features and put it behind the paywall because why they give it away for free. So this is all the part of the theory of the, there must be a catch. So seems like that's not the case because after three days with the app, I can recognize most of the tools from Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo and Affinity Publishers are here. And the only part of the app that is behind the paywall, as I mentioned like three times already in this video, are those new tools from Canva, AI integration with Canva. All right, so seems like that's also not the case. That's also a fake news. All purchases are gone, so people been worried in my comment section about this as well. As you can see, we just get like update yesterday for Affinity Publisher and Photo, uh, fixing some bugs and improving stability. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have those small updates for version two, keeping up with the new OS and all of that stuff so we can keep using those versions. Some people are still on version one, believe it or not. And yeah, that's what happened to version one. After they released version two, people keep using version one, they receive updates for new like system versions and new drivers and all of that stuff. So that's what's going to happen from now on. You cannot buy an old version, that's true. But if you already purchased the old versions back years ago, you can keep using it and you will get some basic updates. Just don't wait for any new features. New features are going to be added only to the brand new version three. All right, next one. The app is free because they are stealing our data and training AI based on our designs. It's not a case right now, but it would be wise to check your Canva account settings on canva.com and be sure that you opt out for uh, any AI training or data sharing from there. Uh, Canva in the past invite creators to train the AI models using this assets like illustrations, textures and layouts. And they pay for it a bit, if I could remember. And right now, seems like that's not the case. I'm offline right now, so nobody harvesting my data. And we need to be careful about this because right now I can say it's a fake news, but what if in three years the Canva decide that actually, you know what, we want to train the AI model based on affinity users. So it's fake news right now, but I will monitor this and check that nothing changed because usually they send you the email. Oh, now we've got three months to opt out for AI training. And if you forget about that email or you ignore that email, then you will like give them right to use your designs and, every, and data. So it's not a case right now, but be careful. Just keep your eyes on, on that. All right. 
The new version is all about adding AI gimmicks everywhere in the, our favorite software is ruined because they added AI gimmicks everywhere. That's not the case. AI is all organized into one workspace and take a look. We can click here. We can switch off Canva AI and it's gone. And you don't need to worry about it. We don't have any pop-ups. When you open the software or you try to do something, there are no pop-ups prompting you to purchase or upgrade to get AI features. So that's not the case. That's another fake news from Facebook again. So <laughs> Facebook is breeding those fake news now. I guess we don't have the official forum anymore. We can get Facebook, YouTube comments and discords and they're full of fake news. Another one is that it's just a rebranding. They're just changing the logos to kind of match with the Canva brand and that's it. There's nothing new. That's a fake news. It's a big move. They integrated all three apps into one. They added some missing features like auto trace and stuff like that. So it's a proper new version of the app. It's not just a logo change. All right. It's not just cosmetic. And the last one, the last one is other way around. People are way too positive about Canva AI now and Canva kind of boosting affinity to be a free alternative. So some people are posting YouTube videos how Canva Plus Affinity can now replace your whole Adobe suite. And that's not the case. They're not that powerful. It may replace Adobe for you, for your workflow. I'm a good example of that. I don't need Adobe for anything right now. I got my Affinity as Adobe Illustrator. I got another apps for recording my screen and editing videos. So I'm good to go without Adobe, but there are so many Adobe apps right now and people may need to use them. So it's not like you can switch to Canva and Affinity and hope for exactly same experience. First, you need to analyze your workflow. What apps do you need? Check that those features are included in Affinity or Canva. And then you can make a big move. Don't just listen to those, those very over positive YouTube videos, how the Adobe is over, the Adobe is burning, Adobe is losing customers. And then you're checking the stock value of Adobe is going up, up every month. So yeah, and Canva cannot replace Adobe and Affinity cannot replace Adobe, but maybe it can replace Adobe for you, for your workflow. All right, I am a great example of that. As I mentioned, I don't need Photoshop. I use Affinity as my vector graphic software and I'm good to go really. So let's summarize 10 common fake news misconceptions about this new version. So Canva and Affinity are not as powerful as Adobe just yet. It's not just a new logo and a cosmetic thing. It's actually a proper new app. You can switch off AI gimmicks, as you can call them, and it's really easy to switch it off. Uh, they are not harvesting our data to train AI in secret. Old purchases are still there. You can re-download and update your version 2 and version 1. Core features are still here. They are not behind the paywall. You got exactly the same experience like in version 2. It will not automatically update to version 3.0. You need to download a brand new version, a new file, and you can use them in the same time. So on my computer, I got both. I got this version 3.0 and also the version 2.6 I purchased previously. There's a catch. In three months, there will be subscription, this, that, the pixel mode will be paid mode. In three months, it's coming for us. And yeah, that must be true because everybody say that. And it's always online. So we've been using this whole document. I can make changes in it as well without even Wi-Fi on. So that's not the case. The true is you need to log in while you install at, at the first launch of the app. You need to log in with your Canva account. That's required, but it's not always online app. It's a desktop app you run locally. And the first one and the biggest one is it's subscription only now. And you know what? There are so many people that have been spreading this for weeks now. And now they're kind of moving forward like nothing happened. They be lying to you <laughs> and it's turned out to be false and nobody is making videos like, oh, I was wrong. I'm sorry that I spread lies. Seems like it's turned out better than expected. Nope, <laughs> it's not the case. So it seems like nowadays lying to people is not a big deal. All right, I hope we clear up some misinformation. And if you got 
any questions you can drop them down below maybe i can answer them or some people from community can see them before me and help you out navigate this a bit confusing update i was i think taking down the forum just before such a big launch was not a great idea all right so i hope this was helpful and i will see you in the next tutorial bye